morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844 236 6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off our website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can call 866-735-2470 if you want more information, 866 866- 735-2470. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you are nutritionally minded, if you like the healthcare business and you want to be in business for yourself, you want to take a look at the longevity business opportunity for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself, work out of your home, make as much or as little money as you like, be your own boss right, up, right off your home office and your mileage and your stamps and just generally have your own business. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a great way to enter into the business world for just a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. Call 866 735-2470 for more info, 866-735-2470, or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our True Skin Health products, including our brand new Connective Tissue Collagen Repair Complex for building connective tissue. If you're dealing with connective tissue deterioration in the skin, I formulated it specifically for the skin. It's got supplements in there like collagen and collagen peptides and hyaluronic acid and zinc and B-complex as well. It's uh, designed for skin to um, pre prevent and even reverse wrinkles, but you also get benefits for all connective tissue building, collagen being the main protein in connective tissue, and connective tissue being, uh, along with the muscle tissue, the bulk of the body. Much of the signs of aging, whether we're talking about the internal signs like ruptures and hernias and heart disease and cardiovascular health issues, or the external signs of aging, uh, bone problems and wrinkles, are due to connective tissue deterioration. Building collagen is the sine qua non, the essence of anti-aging and our connective tissue collagen, connective, connective tissue building collagen repair complex will help reverse the visible as well as the invisible signs of aging. Check it out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. We're still talking about fats. Last we spoke, we were talking about margarine and trans fats and interesterified fats, even if a product says no trans fats on it. If it's a processed food, more than likely you're dealing with processed fats and 
If it doesn't have any trans fats, it likely has these interesterified fats. This is a way that manufacturers harden liquid oils. Liquid oils are cheap. Liquid oils are abundant. Hard oils are much more expensive. Hard oils are much less abundant. Hard oils are prized in the food industry. And uh, instead of using real hard oils like coconut oil or butter or even lard, what the food processors and food industry does is it hardens liquid oils, which are cheaper and much more abundant, uh, much more abundant. Hardening soy oil, hardening corn oil, hardening safflower oil, hardening sunflower oil are all, all represent much less expensive ways to create hardened oils, which are so prized by the food industry. Unfortunately, hardening these oils, hardening these ordinarily liquid oils requires a lot of processing and just can disturb the very delicate nature of these oils. And this is where we run into problems with foods like margarine and, and, uh, and processed fats in general. So just because a food doesn't say trans fat on, or uh, says it doesn't contain trans fats doesn't mean you're out of the woods. If it's a processed fat, it's probably not going to be good for you, even if it's zero trans fats. Once we started to discover how to harden these vegetable oils, pretty much at the turn of the century, Crisco being the most famous example, crystallized cottonseed oil, that's what Crisco stands for, hardened cottonseed oil. Once we figured out how to do that, we started to shift over from getting uh, omega-3 uh, omega fats into omega-6 fats. The balance of omega-6 fats to omega-3 fats was disrupted. Nobody really knows how much omega-3s to omega-6s or omega-6s to omega-3s you need. But the fact of the matter is today we're getting way more omega-6 oils than omega-3s. Most people, most nutritionists think that you need around 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 or even up to 4 to 1 uh, omega-6 to omega-3. There's some controversy around that. But certainly we don't need 20 to 1 or 25 to one, which is basically what we're getting these days. And this throwing this omega-6 to omega-3 balance uh, off is thought to be a major cause of inflammatory health issues. Both omega-6s and omega-3 fatty acids are key players in health. Two omega-6 and omega-3s called essential fatty acids are extremely important, thus the term essential. Essential fatty acids, EFAs, which are omega-6s and omega-3s, not all omega-6s and omega-3s are essential, but all essentials are omega-6 and omega-3. These essential, uh, essential, amino essential fatty acids are, uh, can be thought of as the molecules of inflammation and also the molecules of anti-inflammation. The inflammatory process is part of healing. We, get, we, we think of inflammation, we think of a bad thing. Oh, inflammatory diseases, all diseases have inflammation. We want to take drugs to, to, uh, to quench inflammation, anti-inflammatory drugs. But the fact is, both inflammation and anti-inflammation are part of the healing process. You've got to have both. That's why you need both omega-6s and omega-3s. If you are taking anti-inflammatory drugs, including aspirin, including Motrin, including Naproxen, including steroid drugs... These are all anti-inflammatory drugs, anti-inflammatory pharmaceuticals. If you're taking any of these, you are going to have reduced healing. You're going to be slowing the healing process down. And considering the body's always breaking down, healing is always occurring. Even if you don't have any frank, blatant, obvious reason for healing, you're still, he you're still healing underneath because the body is always being broken down and building up. So healing's always occurring. That means you always have to have these healing molecules. You always have to have these inflammatory as well as anti-inflammatory molecules. If you're suppressing healing or if you're deficient in essential fatty acids, you are likely going to have slow healing, slow resolving. Inflammation is just as important as anti-inflammation. They're both part of the healing process. And, and this is why both omega-6s and omega-3s are important. Sometimes I'll hear nutritionists say, oh, you don't have to worry about your omega-6s. Just take omega-3s. No, bad advice. Omega-6s are as important. In fact, the case could be made they're more important than omega-3s. Oh, but Ben, we get lots of omega-6s. No, we don't. We get a lot of the oils that are supposed to have the omega-6s in them. However, because of processing, because of these, turning these oils into trans fats, because of heat, because of shipping, because of storage, these omega-6s, which theoretically should be getting, coming into the American diet in high concentrations, are not there. So consequently, most of us, unless we're supplementing, are going to be deficient in both omega-6s and omega-3s. 
That's why you get on your ultimate EFAs. Back on the bright side, Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Ben also, brightsideben.com. We've got search engines up at both websites, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Seven plus years, seven and a half years of archived information. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. I'll be doing a talk in my lab this Saturday, the Longevity, oh, it'll be Longevity and a Truth Talk. We'll be talking about skin. We'll be talking about nutritional supplementation. That will be this Saturday, August the 4th, 2240 Curtis Street in Denver. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, love to see you there starting at 11 o'clock, and we'll go for probably an hour and a half to two hours, 11 to one, something like that. So stop by if you're in the area. We'll talk longevity. We'll talk truth skin health. We'll talk skin health issues. We'll talk nutrition in the skin. One of the great misunderstandings in the world of, in the world of skin is the power of nutritional supplementation. I did an interview this morning with a gal uh, at KSCO in Santa Cruz, and we talked about internal nutrition for sun protection. And she was very surprised to learn that Food and nutritional supplements are the best sunscreens. Nutrition and food are the best skin supplement, skin, uh, skin, skin health strategies you could ever use. Most skin health issues, the vast majority, with some slight exceptions, the vast majority of skin health issues are related to nutrition. Not to say that by using topical nutrients, you can't get some benefits, and that's why I created my true skin health products, but the vast majority of skin health issues, whether we're talking rosacea or melasma or hyperpigmentation or, or acne or psoriasis or eczema, are internal in nature. The reason we don't think of this is because we don't see the skin as an organ, even though we give it lip service, the skin is the body's largest organ, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's heard that before, but we just don't seem to understand that the skin is every bit as organ-like as the heart or the spleen or the liver or the intestines or any other internal part of the body. If we did understand it, it would make perfect sense that if you've got a skin health issue, you've got a nutritional issue. You've got to work on how your body gets up on the nutrients your body gets as well as on processing nutrients. We'll be talking about that this Saturday, August 4th, 2240 Curtis Street in Denver, Colorado. Also want to remind you uh, that I'll be doing a talk at the Cancer Prevention Convention Sunday, August 19th. That's about two and a half weeks from today, Sunday, August 19th. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of cool people there. Ty Bollinger will be there and Robert Scott Bell and a bunch of uh, really interesting uh, Interesting anti-cancer specialists will be there. We'll be talking about, I'll be talking about skin cancer. Um, but you can see Del Bigtree, who's big on vaccines. Uh, Dr. Daryl Wolf, who's big on the on detoxification and the emotional strategies of good health, as well as Ty and Charlene Bollinger and Robert Scott Bell. It's the Cancer Prevention Convention. You can get tickets at thetaliving.com. That's in Dearborn, Michigan, Sunday, August 19th. And I hope to see you there. Let's see. Mm, also, going to be talking about CBD oils there, too, as well. Uh, Longevity has a new CBD product that should be coming out here. Sometime, if it's not already out, it should be coming out sometime soon. That's kind of interesting. We've been talking about CBD on this program for a long time. Seems to finally be catching on in the mainstream. CBD also has wonderful anti-cancer properties. CBD cannabidiol. And speaking of cannabidiol and CBDs, one of the best ways to make your own endocannabinoids, your make your own cannabinoids, is to make sure you're taking your ultimate EFAs, essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are so darn important. Essential fatty acids are part of the structure of the cell. They're part of the structure of the cell membrane. They give the cell membrane a certain fluidity. They're part of the skin oil called sebum. When you don't have enough essential fatty acids, sebum becomes thick and sticky and more likely to clog pores. Folks who have acne traditionally or typically have less omega-6 fats in their sebum. Omega-6 fats, omega fats have a liquefying effect on sebum. If you're dealing with acne, get on, get on your ultimate EFA. Sometimes people with oily skin will think, oh, well, I don't want to take essential fatty acids. I'm already making too much oil. No, your oil is too thick because you're deficient in EFA. So if you have oily skin, you definitely want to be on your ultimate EFAs. 
EFAs work at the genetic level. They're the classic epigenetic elements, epigenetic factors. They turn on genes. They turn on the expression of genetics. This is how they exert their anti-aging and bodybuilding and bone building properties. EFAs are among the most anti-aging supplements you can ever take. They're highly anabolic. I first learned about EFAs when I was bodybuilding and weightlifting when I was in my 20s. Everybody was taking EFAs back then, even though nobody had heard of them. Udo Erasmus was kind of like a, a patron saint of the gym because uh, of his understanding of the anabolic properties of EFAs. I first read his book, Fats That Heal, Fats That Kill, back in the 1980s, and that's when I really got going on the essential fatty acids. I've been taking them ever since. I've been taking essential fatty acid supplements since I was in my 20s. Most importantly, well, I don't say most importantly, but perhaps most importantly, a case could be made, uh, for this, EFAs are the molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation. They control, they regulate the inflammatory process and the anti-inflammatory process. They are raw materials for the biochemicals of inflammation and the biochemicals of anti-inflammation. And because all diseases have an inflammatory component, aging itself is about excessive, out-of-control inflammation, correct intake of essential fatty acids plays a key role in the prevention of all disease. Supplementing with EFAs is critical for dealing with all chronic degenerative diseases. That includes heart disease and cancer, the two biggies. Deficiencies in uh, essential fatty acids can lead to imbalances. If you have a deficiency in omega-6s, you're going to have a re reduced healing. If you have a deficiency in omega-3s, you're going to have a reduced healing. If you have a deficiency in omega-6s, you may not be having a correct, the correct amount of inflammation. If you have a deficiency in omega-3s, you may have runaway inflammation. Now, you'll hear from healthcare professionals that you don't have to worry about uh, supplementing with EFAs. Some, some, health, some healthcare professionals will say, well, supplement with omega-3s because you get omega-6s. I don't buy that. Some health care professionals, doctors especially, will say, oh, you get plenty of EFAs in your diet. You don't have to supplement with EFAs. I'm not buying it. I have personally seen in my own life and in the lives of my patients, my clients, remarkable turnarounds, particularly in the case of skin health issues, once an EFA supplement program has begun. The two classic signs of EFA deficiencies in the skin are eczema and dry skin. Personally, I have not had to use a moisturizing product, and I've had no dry skin, uh, dry skin issues in the 30 years uh, that I've been taking essential fatty acids. I've never used a moisturizer, no dry skin issues, and I pound the Ultimate EFAs. I'll take 12 to 15 Ultimate EFAs a day, and I'll take a whole bunch of Udo's Blend in my smoothie almost every day. Classic sign of essential fatty acid deficiency is dry, scaly skin. Liver issues can be a sign of essential fatty acid deficiency. Immune problems can be a sign of essential fatty acid deficiency. Dehydration, dermatitis, alopecia, male pattern baldness can be a sign of EFA deficiency. EFAs are typically found in the diet, but because of processing, because of cooking, because of storing, because of poor diets, that doesn't happen. Breast milk, by the way, is loaded with essential fatty acids. Breast milk is loaded with fats. By the, it's loaded with cholesterol. It's loaded with endocannabinoids, which are part of the essential fatty acid system. Yes, endocannabinoids are part of the EFA system. There are essential fatty acids, specifically omega-6 essential fats, that are turned into these endocannabinoids. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or health, health issues you or a loved one may be dealing with or a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to comment on anything we're speaking about here today, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase longevity products, call The Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or purchase them off the website brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and if you want to purchase any of our true skin health products including our brand new connective tissue collagen uh, collagen repair complex connective tissue building collagen repair complex go to truthtreatments.com or blemish repair complex by the way should be out hopefully next week or the week after we also have two cleansers up They've been out now for a couple months, our Hyaluronic Honey Cleanser and our Peppermint Salicylic Cleanser. 
And of course, all our original Truth Treatments, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol 5% and 1% gels, as well as our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist are all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we'll get your calls here in just a sec. A couple stories I want to read. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. From the journal Cell Metabolism, why weight loss produces remission of type 2 diabetes in some patients. Now, there's two take-home messages here when you read this. Why weight loss produces remission of type 2 diabetes in some patients. The first take-home message is losing weight is going to help you reverse your diabetes. But even more importantly... You can reverse your diabetes. The idea that you can reverse your diabetes is not an idea that is sanctioned by the medical model. The medical model does not believe you can reverse your diabetes. The American Diabetic Association does not believe you can reverse your diabetes. I am telling you, you can. And now we know through science and through scientific studies that indeed type 2 diabetes can remit. A clinical trial recently showed that nearly half of individuals with type 2 diabetes achieved remission to a non-diabetic state after weight loss intervention. This this is so important. Almost, Almost every hour, every half hour, you see a commercial for a drug on TV, right? If you watch TV for three hours, you're going to see six or seven commercials for drugs. And close to half of them are going to be for drugs for your diabetes. There's no drug that can reverse diabetes. This is a lie. The idea that you need a drug to reverse your diabetes, the idea that you need to go to the doctor if you have diabetes, the idea that you need to be medicalized to take care of your diabetes is a lie. It reminds me of Al Franken, Senator, former Senator Al Franken had a book called Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them. That's what I think about when I think of drug companies and when I think of people who promote the medical model. I'm not saying all doctors are liars, by the way, but people who promote and support the pharmacomedical model for dealing with lifestyle diseases like diabetes. I know it's not politically correct to say this. Diabetes is an eating disease. Diabetes is a lifestyle. Diabetes is a lifestyle disease, and that's not to be hard on anybody. That's not to be politically incorrect. That's to give you your power back. That's to say we have power over our health challenges. Diabetes is a leading cause. of It may be, if you factor in the cancer and heart disease, which are technically the two leading causes of death, and you consider that cancer and heart disease are largely blood sugar problems, diabetes, i.e. messed up blood sugar, is the leading cause of death, the leading cause of health misery in this country and around the world, and it is tragically unnecessary once we understand our control over our body's blood sugar. Quote, the knowledge of reversibility of type 2 diabetes will lead to further targeted work to improve understanding of this process, unquote. That's from uh, Dr. Roy Taylor of Newcastle University, who is the author of this study on weight loss producing type 2 diabetes uh, reduction or remission, not reduction, remission, reversal of type 2 diabetes. And by the way, it's not weight loss, it's loss of fat cell or loss of fat, I should say. It's not weight. When you want to lose weight, what you're really talking about is losing fat. We don't want to lose lean weight, uh, the lean part of our body. We want to lose the fatty part. of. uh, We want to drop the fatty part of our body. And when you drop the fatty part of your body, or or reduce your fat, I should say, your blood sugar system works better. Your body processes energy more cleanly, more efficiently when you lose body fat. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll get your calls, 844-236-6010 from the journal Blood. Health research discovers a new link between hypoxia and blood clots. Research led by Rinku uh, Majumadur, PhD, professor of biochemistry at LSU New Orleans School of Medicine, has found how low concentrations of oxygen, that's called hypoxia, decreases a protein that increases your risk for blood clots. Blood clotting is one of the ways the body responds to low blood oxygen. Now, there's many reasons why oxygen, blood oxygen will drop, most especially inflammation and biochemical screw-ups inside the body, but certainly poor breathing strategies can exacerbate the problem. Every year, blood thinning drugs are among the best-selling drugs. Every single year, they're in the top five or top 10 best-selling drugs. Blood clotting is a serious issue. The body's, the blood will clot when the body is under duress. The blood will clot when there's low levels of blood oxygen. It's one of the ways the body copes. One of the ways the circulatory system copes with low oxygen is it will clot the blood. 
That means plain old oxygen, plain old breathing is one of the best ways to thin your blood, to thin your blood naturally. Now, if you're on a blood thinner and you start a good SDR breathing program, slow, deep, rhythmic breathing program, you're going to find that you're able to reduce your dose of blood thinning drugs. And among the most deadly and toxic of all drugs are the blood thinning drugs, because in order to force or compel the circulatory system to thin the blood, it takes a lot of poison. The circulatory system and the, uh, the way the blood moves and circulates and the way the blood clots and doesn't clot, blood thinning and blood clotting are tightly regulated. So in order to compel the circulatory system to thin the blood, it requires massive, uh, massive doses of chemistry, massive, massive doses of poison chemistry. And this is why warfarin and Coumadin and even the new, newer uh, high-tech blood thinners, Plavix, for example, uh, are so toxic. It's plain old SDR breathing. And oh, by the way, one of the great benefits of essential fatty acids, now we've been talking about essential fatty acids for a couple of days, one of the great benefits of EFAs is they're natural blood thinners. And one of the reasons they're natural blood thinners is because they hold on to oxygen. Essential fatty acids, EFAs, are oxygen magnets. They especially hold on to oxygen near red blood cells. So EFAs by themselves are great blood thinners, but EFAs plus a good SDR breathing program is a great way to A, naturally thin the blood, and B, help, you, uh, help yourself wean down from your Coumadin, your Warfarin, your Plavix, or whatever your, uh, whatever your blood thinning drug is. If you do start an EFA program because you want to thin your blood, make sure you're on Warfarin or Coumadin or Plavix or a blood thinning drug of any kind, tell your doctor. Because he's going to want to lower your dose on, the, on your prescription drug. You don't want to just stop taking a, cum, a, a blood thinning drug, by the way. You want to wean yourself off. You want to wean yourself off all your drugs. In fact, I've said this before. I'll say it again. If you are on a drug that your doctor has said you're going to be on the rest of your life, your number one health challenge is to figure out how to wean yourself off of that drug. You want to do it with your doctor, paying, uh, with your doctor's uh, uh, participation because he is dosing you. But you want to figure out how to wean yourself off and getting on a supplement program, practicing SDR breathing, make sure you're taking your EFAs, all the things we talk about here on the Bright Side every day will give you a great, a great treasure trove of strategies for weaning yourself off your, your prescription medication. All right, we've got to take a break. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're on hold, hang tight. We do got lines open for you. We will come back with more good health information and your phone calls on the bright side right after this don't go away all right we're back on the bright side i'm pharmacist ben 844-236-6010 is our number I want to remind you to come to the uh, if you're in the if you're in the Michigan, Detroit, or Dearborn, Michigan area, come to the Cancer Prevention Convention, Sunday, August 19th, 2018. I'll be doing a talk there, as well as Ty and Charlene Bollinger, Dr. Daryl Wolf, Robert Scott Bell, Del Bigtree. A lot of big names will be there. We'll be talking, I'll be talking about skin cancer. There'll also be a talk on veterinary cancer, a detoxification, vaccines, etc. Go to thetaliving.com to get your tickets. That's Sunday, August 19th, Dearborn, Michigan. And also this Saturday, August 4th, I'll be doing a talk at my lab on uh, 2240 Curtis Street in Denver, 80205. 2240 Curtis Street, Denver, 80205. We'll be talking skin and nutrition, longevity products, as well as truth treatments. And it starts at 11 o'clock. We'll go to probably mm, 1230, 1 o'clock, huh? take your, uh, answer your questions. And also, everybody who attends will get a free jug of Beyond Tangy Tangerine on me. That's this Saturday, August 4th, 2240 Curtis Street in Denver, Colorado. Time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. Let's go to Kevin in California, who's been holding on for a long time. What's up, Kevin? How you doing, man? Hey, good. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for everything. Your, your show is very helpful. I listen every day. It's, it's really awesome. awesome. Thank you. Um, I have a question about canker sores. My wife gets these really, really bad canker sores mm. sporadically, and they're, um, they're just her mouth looks like she's got Botox. That's how bad it, how bad oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. No, that's a bad sign. Uh, canker sores are not a problem. They're a sign of a problem. 
people right. get canker sores after they've been sick or if they're on prescription drugs. Are they painful? Yeah, they're very painful for her. Okay. She's got okay. them her whole life. Um, uh, she's got to have had some... Could. Chances are very good she's had some kind of problem, some kind of health challenge her whole life that's not been addressed. And guess where those problems more than likely begin? If you've been listening to this program, you know what I'm going to say. Wow, what is that noise? Where are you, where are you calling me from? I'm sorry, I'm outside of my porch and there's a helicopter flying by. Sorry about that. Okay, no worries. Canker sores, think digestive system. Many times people after okay. they've had a, a bout of digestive health issues will get canker sores. If she's had them her whole life, the chances are good that she's had digestive problems her whole life. That's where you got to think. Mm. That's where you got to focus is on the digestive system. You may also want to start taking in nutrients that are responsible for or that help cells divide. When you have chronic canker sores, cells aren't dividing as well as they should. Cells in the mouth are all constantly dividing. They're constantly dying and being reborn, probably faster than any other cells in the body. The skin and the digestive tract, especially in the mouth, are the fastest growing cells or fat cells that are constantly dividing. The, the turnover time of cells inside the mouth is probably like three weeks or so, three or four weeks, which is really fast. So not only will uh, problems show up quickly, but they can resolve quickly as well. So once you get on a good nutritional supplement program and correct any digestive imbalances, she can, she, she can get rid of her canker sores pretty darn quickly. All right. In fact, the canker source can be used as a diagnostic window for what's happening inside the body, whether she's on the right track or whether she's on the wrong track. When you have chronic canker sores, you're on the wrong track. When they start to resolve, you're on the right track. Number one, work on uh, any kind of uh, eliminating any kind of food intolerances or food allergens. You got to do a food. You may have to do a fast and an elimination diet to determine what those are. Uh, but that's always job number one. Job number two, uh, strategy number two, protect the digestive tract using your Fucoid Z, using your Ultimate Nightly Essence, maybe the Swero V would be a good idea, use the Ultimate Enzymes with all meals, start using fermented vegetables and vegetable juices. You might also want to try, in addition to the Fucoid Z, anything mucilaginous that can help coat the digestive tract, things like bone soup, high aluronic acid supplements might be helpful, algae and uh, seaweed, both of which are mucilaginous. Herbs like slippery elm and mullein have mucilaginous qualities that can coat the digestive tract. Tinctures, you can use tinctures or you can make your own tinctures. Uh, and then uh, last but not least, using nutrients that are involved in cell division, especially the B vitamins. And that's uh, where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine excels. It's a wonderful concentrated dose of the B vitamins. I'd be doing the, I'd be doing the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Uh, make sure she's getting the B vitamins. You might also want to throw in the ultimate EFAs, which are anti-inflammatory, as we've been talking about. Partially, canker sores are uh, partially related to excessive inflammation at the cell level. So using your ultimate EFAs may help be helpful. And then we haven't talked about this yet, but we will be uh, talking about vitamin E. Uh, vitamin E and essential fatty acids work hand in hand. Whenever you start supplementing with your ultimate EFAs, it's a good idea to take a little extra vitamin E. There is some vitamin E in your ultimate EFAs, but personally, I'd be taking an, another 400 international units of, uh, of mixed tocopherols, and that might, you might find that helpful as well. Anything else? Does that help you? Uh, that, that's a lot of information. i got to listen to the archives to write that yes. all down and give it to her. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, let all me right. throw a couple Thanks more a things that. in there. Let me throw a couple more things all in there. Right. Zinc and selenium, both of which are important for the immune system, uh, assuming she has some kind of immune problem. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day and then 400 to 600 micrograms of your ultimate selenium every day. Thanks for your call, Kevin. Appreciate it, and I hope it helped you out. All right, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to hang up on you there. Let's go to Toronto, Canada, and say good morning to Mark. What's up, Mark? How you doing? Hey, Ben. How you doing? Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's going on? Uh, this question is about hives and rashes and uh, swelling. So in February, I started a detoxification protocol that involves uh, doing saunas and taking niacin and activated charcoal. And I'm not sure whether I should continue this uh, or if I should um, <clears throat> stop for a while because I'm getting a lot of swelling um, that uh, kind of comes and goes either on the lip or, um, you know, hives around the thighs and on the back. So, yeah, I'm just wondering what I Look for food. Do. Two things. Number one, look for foods. Uh, hives are always should always be backtracked to foods, always, always, always. Especially any any rashes that come and go, you always want to backtrack to foods. The immune system is lo lives in the skin, 
and it lives in the digestive tract. Those are the two largest concentrations of immune cells, or among the two largest concentration of immune cells, is in the digestive tract and the skin. And that's why anytime you have a, dige uh, a, skin, a digestive immune problem, it's likely to show up on the skin. And all skin health immune issues, hives being a classic example, need to be backtracked to the immune system. And then we've been talking about essential fatty acids. One of the issues uh, with essential fatty acids is they're pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory. They control the inflammatory process, skin will become much more sensitized to inflammatory and immune issues when it's deficient in EFAs. This is, this is true topically as well as internally. So that when the skin is desensitized, you may become more likely to have a reaction on the skin that you wouldn't have if your skin wasn't desensitized. So getting on the EFAs, getting on the ultimate EFAs can help reestablish the skin, the, the integrity of the skin's immune system so it's not so, so jumpy, so it's not so sensitized. This is, this is uh, also true for folks who have sensitive skin, so-called sensitive skin, where anything you put on top of the skin makes you break out or gives you a rash or causes irritation. That also can be a sign of essential fatty acid deficiency. So the combination of working on your immune system, and you know, I just talked about it. I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to repeat myself, but eliminating problem foods and uh, staying, uh, doing a food diary, and you know, the elimination diet, all those kinds of things, and then re-strengthening the digestive tract if you have issues with, with leaky gut by using bone broth protein and uh, bone broth in general, cartilage, uh, connective tissue building supplements like our collagen re uh, collagen uh, uh, repair complex, which just came out. You can get that at Truth. Treatment.com. By the way, the collagen repair complex can be very helpful for folks dealing with leaky gut syndrome. It sounds like you may have that issue because it can help patch up the gut and then making sure that you get on the ultimate EFAs along with maybe 400 international units of vitamin E a day. Topically, uh, zinc oxide can be very calming for the skin. You might want to get yourself some uh, zinc oxide paste and put it right where the hives are. If it gets really, really bad and the itching is just miserable and un uh, totally uncomfortable, you can use calamine, which contains zinc oxide, and you can also use Benadryl cream. Benadryl cream can be anti-itch because it contains the antihistamine Benadryl, also uh, hydrocortisone cream, which... You know, you, you want to use Benadryl and hydrocortisone only as last resorts if you're totally, totally miserable. But if you are, they can both be very helpful. But I'd be looking at the digestive system, eliminating problem, problem foods, repairing the gut, and then making sure I was restabilizing the, the immune system and the skin with, with your ultimate essential fatty acids. Okay? Okay. Well, what about the first time reaction? Don't you think it could be from the sonic? Ah, uh, detoxification you're talking? Happen, like you're, only happened when I started doing the saunas. The only like you're detoxifying was, kind of thing? Yeah, I started doing saunas. I started adding Celtic salt to my water, and I started taking Jerry Peter, Peterman's uh, Time Challenger. You had him on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those are the, the only things that changed. Before that, I never had this since I was 15. It could like be a detox. It could be a detoxification reaction. But the thing is, how are the toxins getting into your system in the first place? Well, there's the heavy metal reports for, you know. Well, it could be. It could numbers. be heavy metals. But I always look to the digestive system first. Absolutely. It could be a detox reaction. But you want to work on why the toxicity is there in the first place. It may be heavy metals. But the most likely suspect is usually foods because we eat. You know, you eat three times a day or more. And if you have a food problem, it's going to get in. It's likely that it's going to be uh, coming in somehow through the digestive system. It could, sure, it could definitely be heavy metals. Uh, if you want to clean your system of heavy metals, the best way to do that is with bentonite clay and by making sure that you're getting on the good minerals. The good minerals will always uh, protect you from the bad minerals. So using your plant-derived minerals along with bentonite clay or maybe zeolite can help attract those heavy metals out of your system. Hey, I'm out of time. That's it. Sorry. Uh, that's wow. That went by fast.